past 12 months, 190 people have died from overdoses in Victoria. There's a syringe vending machine in North Richmond and you don't have to wait long to find a customer. We quite regularly have junkies shooting up underneath the bridge. And do you see syringes in the... Oh, everywhere, even in my shop. There have been 2,000 drug overdoses in Victoria in the past 12 months. This one took place this morning, just metres from the proposed site of the state's first safe injecting room. I've changed my view on this because the evidence is just so compelling. And if it was my son or my daughter, I would want this facility. This gives us enormous hope for those families who currently have a loved one with a heroin addiction that they might actually have an opportunity to survive. Loretta Gabriel's son was sexually abused when he was five. By 17, he'd turned to heroin. Last year, he was on a waiting list for a rehab centre when his body was found in a laneway. If he had a safe injecting room where he could have had that one last hit while he continued to try and get into a rehabilitation facility, he would definitely be alive. A safe injecting room has been operating in Sydney's King's Cross since 2001. It's treated more than 7,000 overdoses and never had a death. In all of the 110 services or so around the world, there has never been a death from drug overdose in any of those centres. Ambulance call-outs for drug overdoses in Sydney have dropped 80% since the safe injecting room opened. Well, there's no doubt in this area the workload for paramedics will be reduced significantly and that will mean that there are ambulances available for other people with other conditions more readily. Those on the streets of Richmond have also endorsed the two-year trial that will be overseen by former Liberal Premier Jeff Kennett. I think that's a, that's a good idea. It'll keep things clean, safe and tidy and that's the main thing for me. The Victorian Government hopes to commence the trial by the middle of next year. Guy Stainer, ABC News.